Hello amazing people I am Ayushi Rawat and welcome to my channel I am back with another video tutorial for my Python's project playlist In this video tutorial we learn how to run javascript commands from inside of Python script We will make use of js to py module Let's look at today's agenda so you will know what to expect from this tutorial We'll see a quick introduction at js to py module and we'll see how to run javascript commands from inside of python script. js to py stands for javascript to python as the name suggests. It is a module which can be used to translate javascript to python. It acts as a javascript interpreter which is written in 100% pure python. Let's look at some of its features. It translates any valid javascript ECMA script 5.1 to python. Translation is fully automatic and it does not have any dependencies. It uses only standard python library. Now let's look at some of its limitations. It has three limitations. Strict mode is ignored. Which statement is not supported an indirect call to eval function will be treated as direct call to eval method hence always evals is in local scope if you wish to know more about it you can refer to the js2py documentation i'll attach the link in the description box below now that you're aware of js2py basics we can move forward to the coding section let's get started It's time to code. Before we move forward, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Well, subscribe it so you never miss an update. You can find all the code at my YouTube projects GitHub repository. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step by step guide. I'll attach the link in the description box below. So in order to access the Python library, you need to install it in your Python environment. Open your command terminal and use the pip install command to install js to py module. Use command pip install js to py and hit enter. For me, it says as requirement already satisfied because I've already got this installed in my system. Once done, let's import it in our Python script. So I'm inside my VS Code editor and let's start by creating a new Python file. I'll name it as script.py. Import js2py. Now that we have imported the package in our Python script, let's start with a simple hello world. So print hello world. Let's save and run it. And it outputs hello world. Now let's look at an equivalent JavaScript code. That is console.log hello world. Now let's store it inside an object. So here we have stored the JavaScript command in JS one. We'll make use of eval dot JS method from JS to py module, and we'll pass in our JS code in it. Let's store the result in RS1 and let's finally output our result. Let's save. Let me clear the screen first. And now let's run our Python script. And it outputs hello world. Now let's look at an another example. Let's create an addition function in JavaScript. This is a simple body of python script for addition of two numbers. Let's look at an equivalent code in javascript. Function add a comma b the parameters with the braces and returning a plus b. So let's head back to our vs code editor and let's define a function in javascript.
Let's store the function in JS2 and in order to make our program more interactive, let's take user input inside our Python script. Similar to what we did in the first example, we'll make use of eval.js method from js to py module here. And let's store it in result2. We can finally print our result, so let's do that. And here, let's pass in a and 3. a is the user input. Let's save and run our Python script now. So it outputs hello world for the first example and asking for a number for addition as a second example. Let's give in 7 here and it should output 10 as 7 plus 3 equals to 10. As soon as I press enter, I get 10 here. That's absolutely correct. This is a basic working example of JS to PY. This is all about running JavaScript commands from inside of Python script. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Hope this tutorial has helped you. You can find all the code at my YouTube project's GitHub repository. I have recently curated a list of all Python resources like books, newsletters, podcasts, etc. You can refer to the ultimate Python resource hub repository for that. Drop a star if you find it useful. You can also refer to my blog for a step-by-step -step guide. I would love to connect with you on Twitter, LinkedIn and other social platforms. I'll attach the link in the description box below. Join my Telegram channel and Discord server for regular updates. I would strongly recommend you to check out my other video tutorials from the Python's project playlist. If you have any queries or suggestions, feel free to reach out to me. Do share your valuable suggestions. I appreciate your honest feedback. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Press the bell icon so you never miss an update. I will be back with more such videos. Till then, take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.